Hello, it's nice to see you back to another episode of Chicken Police and um, yeah, we left off with uh, the mesmerizing performance of uh, Natasha. Um, Sunny got a bit uh, thrown off and um, yeah, so uh, we're heading up to her room to find more about the case, finally. And yeah, let's just get going. I knew she was trouble the first time. Uh, okay, so we're her. up. She wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being, and it attracted me, like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies, or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. I wanted to be her nightdress, barely touching, barely covering her marble skin. Yeah. But I was a cop, and a lifetime right. wouldn't be enough to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. And uh, calm down. Yes. So, we're up here in her room. Yeah. yeah that is a uh, unique picture. And kind of daring. I admit I've never seen anything <laughs> quite like it before. Yes, I admit it's a little daring. I keep mm -hmm. it. It evokes good memories. A precious old friend of mine. Okay. The most wonderful artist. He's got an eye, that's for sure. Considering his model. Was that supposed to be some kind of compliment? I don't know. I don't compliment often. Not on purpose, anyway. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, I thought my camera might have died <laughs> along the way, but um, I fixed that. And um, so we're uh, back here with Natasha. I just looked at the painting. I'm just gonna do that for the Gee, protocol that of is it. A, uh, and um, unique picture. Yeah. And kind of. <laughs> Daring. I admit I've never seen anything. <laughs> so I think we can skip that. I don't know. I don't compliment often. Not on purpose, anyway. Oh, you're fun. Okay. So let's just take a quick look around. You've got a beautiful place here, Natasha. A peaceful little island on the ocean of madness. With very classy furniture. It is so poetic all the time. By elegant things, you know. You're an elegant thing yourself, sweetheart. Oh, mm, that's he's flirting. Thank you, detective. I bet you spend a lot of your time staring into the mirror. Do you even recognize yourself? Maybe you were trying to be rude, but you know, that's a very good question. I was just trying to be rude. Really? Well, then I'm sorry. Don't mention it. Oops. <laughs> We're just gonna go. No, okay, let's talk to her. This woman's aware of her charm, and she knows how to use it. A rare and dangerous combination. No, I think he might have fallen for her a little bit. How do you like your bourbon, Mr. Sullivan? Don't give us alcohol like again. But thanks, I had a couple before I came. I feel like this may be a long night. Yeah. I get offended if women don't drink in my company. Oh, how do you like your book? In a glass. I hope okay. it doesn't bother you if I have one myself. I was I forgot. I get if women forget. don't drink in my company. <laughs> that I don't oh, have to click anymore. You are a funny guy. So I've been told. Anyway, uh, lovely room. Yes. Look, Mr. Sutherland. It's sunny. Saves us a lot of time. Yeah. Okay, Sonny. So, why am I here? You know, men seem to double in my presence. <laughs> I wonder why. Posting. It is. But you're not the type to beat around the bush. Is it too banal if I tell you it's an occupational hazard? Terribly. So can I start the unpleasant question? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. 
Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... <laughs> oh, you do have a sense of humor. How reassuring. Only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite common. I don't know. I don't know if that was, like, meant to be funny. <laughs> oh, we can investigate, but we can just drink. So... <laughs> Please drop the act about being the alcoholic, heartbroken ex-cop, Sammy. It would undoubtedly suit you, but um, let's do scanning my room. On the second you set foot in here, you started working, and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, Sorry, something like that. Well then. Come at me. Well, that's something I don't hear often. With pleasure. Okay. So let's look this up. Natasha is a mysterious woman indeed and seems dangerous too, but she's undoubtedly in serious trouble. The question is, is she the source of the problem or is it someone else? Okay. Let's oh, okay. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. I Natasha is okay. a confident woman. I can exploit that. But I must be careful. Okay. Every part of her oozes danger. Okay. That was a remarkable performance. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. Sadly, I don't have the time, but the state still calls my name, and I perform just a few times a year, and always with a new song. So that uh -huh. was all the excitement. I have many admirers, if that's what you mean. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's... I mean, we talked about the picture. I uh, I wonder if that wasn't uh, that wouldn't be an option if we uh, didn't look at it. So the picture on the wall is quite daring. Oh. Only if you knew how old I was at the time. I think I'm on a slippery slope here. Okay. Come on, don't be shy. Ask me. All right. How old were you? <laughs> You're quite a player, aren't you? Life is anything but a game, detective. Well, you tell me. I mean, she like orders us here and doesn't tell us what we should do. <laughs> what? Um, what can you uh, what can you tell me about Ibn Wesla? Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threats? I think we should be like uh, direct Do here. Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threat? Those who admire me usually idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. Mm. You know, the soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look or some small rejection to turn admiration into hate. That's a stillborn theory. No one hates me if they once loved me, Mr. Detective. Uh, mm -hmm. I see. Okay, that was good. We, we're we're get, going at it here. We're getting there. Do you have any material evidence concerning the threats? The whole case stinks. What are you trying to make me do? Why Deborah? She's a nice girl, but why didn't you come to me? I think I'm gonna go with the first one. Do you have any material evidence concerning the threat? You may think I'm irresponsible, but I didn't keep any of it. Mm -hmm. I simply couldn't bear to look at them. Didn't you think maybe the police would need it? I didn't think I needed the police. Moreover, do you think the girlfriend of Ibn Wesla could ever turn to the cops? I see. So, what about me? How do I come into the picture? Mm -hmm. It sounds ridiculous, but 
You're my last hope. That does sound ridiculous, but I accept my ego and old habit. You can't be anything else, can you? Something like that. A leopard can't change its spots. Deep behind the diamond skin mm -hmm. lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide it. She's scared. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. Okay. Oh, we are doing so good. What was in those threads, exactly? The message itself is not a threat. It's just a word. But a word again and again what is word? threatening. Exactly. So, you really don't have any idea which word could be used for a woman like me? I mm. guess I do. Yes, I think I know what it could be. Whore. Mm, okay. Jacked up this time? Am I right? You heard it. I said what you were thinking. And yes, that was in the message. That was printed on the paper and painted on my wall. In giant red letters. Well, thank you for your honesty. Um... I, I wonder what's uh, up with those colors. So... Can you, like, intentionally, like, buy red paint that's red? <laughs> because they can't see colors. How did she know it was red? I mean, I don't know if it's like a thing or... So I'll put this microphone. Uh, what's up about the film I see here because of you? Could the threats have any to, anything to do with the dangerous relationship be <laughs> between you? I suggest you lie, lie low. Seeing the cup is not even a shadow. Mm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for this. Yeah. Did the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relationship between you? You mean I'm a cat and he's a rat? Oh. Every interracial relationship has risk. But yes, this one's more conspicuous than most. I didn't think of it that she's the cat and he's a rat because like cats play with like rats and mice they uh, they catch. Maybe she's the one with with more power in this in this relationship here and oh. Squawville's a very open and free city, but I guess you see more radical transgressions than I do. One of the most common causes in homicidal and predatory cases, ma'am. So yes. Yeah, I wonder well, if that was good. About that. Nobody ever questioned our relationship openly. We are what we are. And you know, if you're interested in my personal feelings, danger fills our relationship with a flavor no other can replace. Mm -hmm. It must be one interesting relationship, that's for sure. I'm not sure I can feel the same, but I can certainly understand it. Maybe one day you'll experience it, Sonny. Have you ever been with a predator before? Well... Well... That's unsteady ground, Natasha. Let's turn the questioning around, if you don't mind. <laughs> As you wish, Sonny. Oh, that was good. Oh. How many fools like me have you used up, Natasha? In all my life? Well... I just forget it. I don't want to know. Curiosity kills the cat. No pun intended. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're not a fool, Sonny. I know that was supposed to be a kind of insult, but it usually rolls right off me. I can't say cock-a-doodling, so you can put aside the strutting stuff while you're talking to me. Fair point. Broadcast received, ma'am. Okay. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough, gang. It's time to know why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about. Oh, that was not good. But we had no other option. Mm. Okay. Maybe we would have gone other options if our um, 
interrogation with Ibn went a bit better. <laughs> Let's stop beating about the bush. How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew okay. very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator or you're really that desperate. I really know her. I'm not lying. Oh, really? How? Were you a nurse, too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude. I'm so cynical. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with it, but I knew that if I didn't mention it to you, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have gone. Yeah, Natasha, you're right there. I knew you were a decent foul, that you would help me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper she is, but I haven't seen her in years. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Really? Hmm. So good friends, huh? I, I did. I knew I checked you out before I sent Deborah. Luck me. This case is getting more and more intriguing. I'm just gonna ask because What exactly do you want from me? You are really as good as they say you are. And I'm not selling lucky dips on it. Find them, whoever they are, and whatever it takes. Not exactly, but something like that. I mean, we could have guessed that. Like, find them. <laughs> but why did it take so long for her to say that? You know, if I didn't see the speck of fear behind the confidence shining in your eyes, I wouldn't take the hint. I'm not afraid. You're terrified, Natasha. Don't be ashamed. You must talk to me. As soon as you can. Money's not an issue. Why did we get 40%? I was so thrilled that we got like plus points all the time. <laughs> well, okay, so uh, the threat or rather the threatening word in the message messages sent to Natasha is in brief. It's brief but says a lot regardless. Yeah, well, okay. Just one more thing. Okay. Natasha. Please come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I'd like to show you something that could be of a great help in your investigation. Mm -hmm. I was afraid this was coming. Why there? Why not here and now? It's something I keep hidden there. I won't take the risk of Ibn or one of his men seeing it. Isn't it too dangerous we can, to keep uh, we can from us? Tell me. A woman is naked without her secrets. Hmm. Okay. I knew you would understand. Oh yeah, I understand everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early, and don't be too late. Okay. Look, Natasha, you know... Please, this is very important to me. Sure, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Until later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. Okay, let's cut it here for. Oh! oh. I think we should cut it here for now. Okay, surprise, we're not gonna cut it. We will just pick it up here and um, finish our whole. Um, interrogation and um, getting to know the, the information we need about the case because we finally want to like start <laughs> so let's just 
do it from top to bottom. It was the millions before. Maybe you mm -hmm. can guess my origins from my name and my accent. I come from the eastern Zardom of Savonia. Zardom. Not quite respectful of our name. You feel that's not the case okay, here in Okay, got it, okay. Yes, no. Absolutely not, Mr. Featherly. Oh boy. Many here don't even know the name of their king. To them, he's called <coughs> the Fox King. The Fox King. Okay. And rude. There's some truth to oh that. Oh boy. Where I'm from, we choose our leaders ourselves. And whatever they do later, we proudly stand by our decision. So that's why the name, in respect to your country. Oh, don't take me for so sentimental. It's only partly the reason. We lived there until I was 14. Then we, we had to flee. It doesn't matter why. In the end, I was the only one who made it to Claudia. So the name isn't because of nostalgia or respect. More like a reminder. Uh-huh. Okay. So, why, Deborah? I could not seek you out in person. It was risky even to send Debbie. It's too mm, late Debbie. now. Mr. Wessler is aware of my little investigation. I'm sorry I got him <coughs> mixed up in this. She's a lovely girl. She looked like one. Sunny? Okay. <laughs> I can't ask about Marty. <laughs> May I be rash? It's New Year's Eve. Everything goes to night. I Isn't always forget about this. In my own way, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Whatever that means. Yeah. I can't understand it, son. There are women who can't actually love. Not like they're supposed to. Okay. But that doesn't mean they don't love however they can. That's not a real answer, is it? <laughs> if you only accept yes or no, then yes, I love you. Achievement unlocked. So this message. I'm sorry I had to upset you, Sonny. But if I didn't take that step, <coughs> would we be talking here right now? Oh. Well, probably I'd be dead drunk and counting sheep men in my dreams. I'm good for you, you see? Yeah. yeah. You're a real angel. <laughs> okay. Why just me? Almost What's slur. wrong with my partner? Nothing <laughs> in the world. I just like to be discreet. I wanted to talk to you in private because of uh, Molly. Mm. Uh, well, uh, thank you for your discretion. It means a lot. Don't mention it. Mm. I wonder what this whole Molly thing is, is about now. So, who's this Olivia bird? I know mm. well what you're curious about. You want to know if she's sleeping with you. She's direct. The thought may have crossed my mind. You may, but guess what? Maybe she does. What the? You don't care. As long as she loves me, I don't. Well, that's your business. What yeah. do you know about her? She's not the one threatening me. You can be sure of that. Okay. I know that was your next thought. The love sick assistant <laughs> is jealous of the boss's girlfriend and wants to flick her out of the picture. It would even stand up, but. Olivia doesn't have feelings. Mm -hmm. If she lets Eben sleep with her, it's because she does what he says, nothing more. It was so honest and raw, I'm inclined to believe it. Okay. Are we done here? Let's just look at the notebook. Clues. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so these two are new, I think. Natasha is afraid of her uh, and her fear is genuine. But she isn't telling me everything regardless, and I don't like it. Uh, the threat, or rather the threatening word in the message <laughs> sent next to Natasha is okay. Ah, that's, that's what she. Uh, no, uh, Sunny said of her the interrogation. Okay. Okay, Natasha? Uh, she came from the northern 
Sagen dann auf. What? It's so small. Oh. It's like I never played that game before. Yeah, of Sto Stovonia. From where her family had to flee. Later, when Natasha reached the, three, the, the city of Clovel, she was already an orphan. Okay. Mm. <coughs> Olivia. According to Natasha, Olivia is perfectly devoid of emotion, which pre precludes her from standing behind the threats. That doesn't mean she's not Ibi's lover. Yeah. So, the codex thing. That's always very interesting. Stavonia. It's the bleak world of the proud Stavonians, mostly inhabited by predators and big cats. The political situation situation between Clover and Stavonia is quite tense and delicate, for both historical and commercial commercial reasons. Okay. Uh, the Stavonian Sardom. Uh, I think it's like Kingdom. I guess <laughs> was the biggest loser of the meat war, uh, but not. M uh, but most animals have been considering them the potential trigger of the second meat war. There was the second, okay, and the biggest threat looming over the modern world. Okay, Altera, the two-headed continent Altera may only be the second biggest of the three continents of the wilderness, but it's the home of the most advanced and most influential state of the world, like. Nautica, I think that's the like sea world creatures and, and stuff like that. The Stovos, uh, Stovos, Sardum, <laughs> Averia, the bird country state, uh, Vilesia, don't know, and Svolasso, La Volos, La Voslavia <laughs> from the Fran Empire. And of course, Clover, the city of a thousand colors. <sighs> so many different uh, difficult words. Boy. Okay. Hector the third, or as most animals call him, the Fox King, is the third member of the Valois dynasty. Although, although Clover is a small state, its king is the amongst the most influential animals of the wilderness. Not because of the city's actual importance, but for riches of its faraway colonies. Whew. Okay, good. So, I think we did everything in here. I think we have to exit now. Well, weren't you supposed Kay. to be waiting in the car? Oh, for security. Marty. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You thought Natasha had eaten <laughs> me alive, huh? Yep. Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little thing. <laughs> I'm too well, old for this, Marty. Then next time, leave the dangerous predators to me. I didn't mean that, Marty. I meant you. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know how the interrogation went if Marty was the one doing it, so maybe that was better. Okay, I don't think we have s like more to do here. Can we speak to him <laughs> again? My name is Santino Featherland. Gabriel, what do you want? Chicken. Gabriel? Will you take me for a fool? Oh, Get out oops. of here while I'm in a good mood, bird. This autoplay. Okay. Oops. Yeah, like, some more information here. But I think it's, like, Gabriel. Lynx. Gabriel the Grinder. Antipop. Quite and deadly. He's most likely from Stavonia. Okay. This bobcat is most likely Ibn Vesta's goon. <laughs> Maybe he has a connection to Natasha. Oh, there she is again. Let's speak to her. Oh, Let's mighty you. try. How can I help you, <laughs> gentlemen? But what exactly is my relationship with Mr. Wesley? And how close am I to him? Oh, ah. you. <laughs> how can I help you, gentlemen? Look, we really don't want to dig into your personal life, but... But what exactly is my relationship with Mr. Wesley? And how close am I to him? You yeah. don't beat around the bush, man. Well, actually, I remember. I don't have time to chit-chat, Mr. Featherland. So yes, I'm not one to beat around the bush. And no, I'm not sleeping with Mr. Wesley. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for the uh, quick and straight answer. Yep. Anything else? Your phone Okay. 
Let's Do just do it there. Here often, Olivia? No, <coughs> not really. Well, okay. Thanks. <laughs> oh, thanks. I think those will be you know, all very short. Isn't as ferocious as you think. On the contrary, he's become very different recently. Uh, why though? Don't you find that weird? A sudden change of heart? Sometimes an animal just has enough. Fed up and wants a change. Mm -hmm. I think we respect that. Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. Oh, I hope Marty stays like silent. What's your relationship <laughs> with Miss Natasha Katsenko? We've talked a bit. That's all. There's no uh, tension between you? You know, the pretty secretary. Oh, don't thank do you for that. your compliment, Mr. Kreglin. No, no tension. Natasha's an intelligent woman. I respect that. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. Oh, okay. Oh. If I'm not mistaken, Natasha has a weekend house in Flowerville. Flower. Yes, that's right. Sounds a pretty. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never been there. Allegedly, it's beautiful, elegant, luxurious, just like <laughs> Natasha herself. Does she have a little crush on her? Maybe. We don't know. So it's all. Mm. Remember that mother <coughs> goose with the turtle and the rabbit fella? Oh gosh, Marty, where do you dig these out? <sighs> my mind is a bottomless pit, my friend. <laughs> was the rabbit a runner? And that turtle was what, his buddy or his dealer, actually. Oh. Ah, yeah, you're right. He found the rabbit near the river with a missing leg. Brutal stuff. Two missing legs, actually. But yeah. Oh well. Yeah. What happened with the turtle in the end? A little bit blurry. Your bottomless pit of a mind is a dark and sad little place. <laughs> the turtle thought he would run faster if he ate the legs of the rabbit. You know what? This city's seriously fucked up. It is, Marty. It is. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh. I think. I should we talk to Fumar again? Yeah. So, did you <clears throat> talk to Natasha? Ah, uh, yeah, fact, right. Yes. She was uh, kind of mysterious. He he wanted us to come back to to him um, uh, when we talked to Natasha. I bet she was. You know, I've never abandoned a case before, not voluntarily, anyway. But that woman, you're uh, too old for this shit, huh? Huh? As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt too. Before you leave, take this. Mm. And examine it closely. What is it? The reason I decided all of this was not worth it for me. Okay. Wow, that sounds encouraging. Take care of yourselves, guys. This case, maybe it goes deeper than you think. Oh, that makes my feathers stand on end. Uh, okay. Pal, brokers, you're safe while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, everybody is silent. <laughs> it's like, you said while I'm here. Last time I maybe shot you, but you know. Okay, let's just look this up and then we. Oops, nope. Here. Ibn's currently busy with some kind of meat substitute business. Okay, that's what he and his assistant told us anyway. Ivan was acting quite strange, and he hesitated when I mentioned how he met Natasha. Ah, it would be interesting to hear the story from another point of view. After the show, Ivan left the Zark Club suspiciously fast. Well. Hmm. Okay. So let's look at the item. What? Okay. We stepped into it, didn't we? We stepped into it, didn't we? We stepped into it, didn't we? Can I take a look, please? Mm, looks like some sort of list. Mm, not sure. Maybe some. We stepped into it, didn't we? Yeah, uh, sorry. Some shady, like drug kind of business. Maybe it's just like um, they pretend. They have a pretend business for their meat substitutes and it's just like 
drugs are real meat. I don't know. Maybe it's like handle. Sorry. Um. Uh, handle that uh, like that, uh, in this world like meat. Oh. Furry. What kind of a list is this? <coughs> Oh, okay. All popped up. Uh, okay. Maybe they play cards together. Okay, sure. Okay. That's very likely. Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. Mm. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. Thanks, Shomar. This could be important. Uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, shut up, Marty. <laughs> okay. So, that'd be cool. I've only I only recognized a few names on the list. Film are shoved into my hand, but of um, but all of them belong to the respected elite of crime will be safe. Could be a, wed <laughs> a wedding rooster, but I doubt that's the case. Yeah. The list with all those imposing names must have something to do with Natasha and thus with the th threats too. Yeah, what's it? Was it about Eden? No? The second girl? Yeah, Filma. It seems Filma also used to work for Natasha, but he got out of the case before the, uh, the ground got too hot. Anyway, he kept a piece of evidence, as good uh, as any good PI would do. Which could be very useful to us. Mm. So, Natasha Katsenko's weekend house, it stands in the cleanest and most separated, uh, separated quarter of the city in Flower. I'm curious about what she's hiding there. Okay, seems like we gotta go there. I don't know if, if we should like visit those uh, temporarily available spots first. I think we will do. But we will do in the next episode. And I think it will be the hot dog. So prepare for <laughs> another nice chit chat with uh, Zip. <laughs> uh, till then, um, I would be glad if you joined us back in the next episode. And till then, bye!